All right, guys. Today we're gonna do another Shoki Gunpla News segment real quick. I'm a couple days behind, but there's a bunch more release info that just came out in the last couple days. It's mostly the new uh, the second season of IBO kits that are uh, popping up right now with a few more details. And let's go over the next uh, three months or so of uh, updates here. So next month in October, we've got basically all of the HG uh, IBO Season 2 kits coming out. So we've got the HG Barbatos Lupus in its new form. And I'm, I'm really starting to dig this new kit. I like some of the new details. I wasn't sure if I was going to like those red new shoulder overlays, but I love the fact that you can totally see the, the Tekidon emblem there, and it's not a sticker. That's actually molded in pieces that go over each other, and that's awesome. You know, they, they took a step further. And, you know, he's got the much bigger claws on the feet, and, you know, We'll look, at, we'll look at a few more close-up details here, but that's coming out end of October, as, well, basically everything is. Um, and that one is back to, like, the old-school price of the original IBO kits. It's only uh, 1,080 yen, so not even $11, technically speaking. So that one's going to be really cool. And I like the new updates. I like the new weapons, the new, like, bitter, or bitter, bigger like flat sword that he's got so maybe it's more like a club and a sword and you can see it comes with a couple extra little extensions I guess for things to come off the back now there is a uh, expansion kit coming later on or the uh, option sets there'll be those for especially for Barbatos's weapons like you'll see later in uh, one of the other new releases coming up he actually has some uh, new forearm weaponry coming up so that's it for the Barbatos Lupus. Now we have what's called the Reginlays, Reginlays, kind of hard to say, but it's clearly, it's going to be like a new version of the Greys, maybe an underwater version, maybe a new orbital version, I'm not entirely certain yet, the series isn't out yet, but it shows that this particular one it says that it's Julieta's unit. So maybe it's another new one of the uh, Seven Stars uh, commanders from Yellowhorn. And I really like this new details. I like, it's not just the standard grays anymore. It's got a few new details here and there. I really dig that teal color that it kind of is. But I also really like that on the Cartus grays. It's a, it's slightly different, more maybe green unit than that. But I dig that. And much like a lot of the other kits that are coming with this, it's about 1,296 yen. So it's probably going to come with a bit more uh, plastic and a few more options. Um... And, I've, and this one actually comes with a few new a few new weapons, like a different kind of rifle. And you can actually, looks like you can actually take off the barrel, maybe swap it out with other weapons later down the line, or make the guns bigger as they go. I really dig this. And if this is what we're going to get for the new Greys, or the upgraded version of the Greys, I like that. But staying in that same vein right there. We also have the Guy Rail or Guy Rail. Gay Rail. It's kinda hard to we haven't heard these words spoken yet, so it looks like Guy Rail. And honestly it looks like a very stripped down version of the Greys. I actually kinda think it looks like what you would get as a Lego version of the Greys. Or a uh uh, Mega Blocks, whoever would else would make that. But it it's very, very stripped down. But it has a bigger head, and I really dig that kind of red, sunken-looking eye. Now, with that name, it almost sort of alludes to maybe Galileo didn't die, necessarily? You never know. It's a Galileo. Galileo. It's not too much of a stretch. Maybe he didn't totally die in the first season, and this is how he gets brought back. But you can definitely see it has a lot of Grey's influence, if it isn't, in fact, the new Grey's. I mean, you get a closer look on it. It definitely has the Grey's-like helmet, but a bit more squared off with the same kind of commander peg. You see the kind of, in the chest, you get a little bit more of what looks like the Grey's reactor cockpit area. It looks the same. A lot of the armor is very similar, but it's very, very stripped down. But that kit is also going to be twelve ninety six, so they're all going to be around about thirteen dollars in that range. 
and keep going. Talk about the other Gundam on the uh, Tekadon side. You get the Gujan Rebake Full City. Nobody knows what that means yet. It may not even be Full City, but that's how they say it. So maybe it's Felicity. <laughs> so it's the Rebake Felicity. Yay! And it's definitely been worked over. They've definitely been finagling with the armor. They, it looks like they've ditched some of the obvious grays parts and some of, and definitely all of the old obvious Gusion parts. So brand new armor, brand new like vents on the shoulders, on the legs. The butt armor definitely looks different. Um, almost looks like maybe it's got some folding gimmicks. I wouldn't put it past them to add a couple extra arms on this guy. That's not confirmed just yet because we haven't seen all of the details, but would not put it past them. But I love the fact you can get some close-up shots in these new pictures. The head still folds into what I guess they call like a, not a sniper mode, but something like that, a lens mode. Um... I do like that they kept that gimmick to where the head does continue to transform, but of course being the HG version, it's not going to transform. You're going to have to build two separate heads, just like you did on the previous Gusion Rebake. I'm okay with that, but I already know we're probably going to have to paint a lot on this. I mean, the same same cost, so around about 1300 yen. So there's a lot of plastic in this guy with the armor and even some of the weapons, but it's uh, hopefully it comes with enough gimmicks to be happy. Um, and I like, like, some of the original images we saw. It was very, very brown. Like, they got away from the, uh, beige color. But these newer images that we just got, they're back to that beige color. And that makes me happy, because I was not digging that, like, poop brown that it was coming out. So, poop brown and orange. That was not going to be a good-looking Gundam. I'm sorry. Also coming up in October, this, uh... <laughs> This all new uh, kit from uh, IBO Series 2. The Hugo. Now, as all the other suits coming out, this one is so different. We know nothing about it. We don't know who's really using it that I know of in, in the previews. But it's so weird looking. It's got to be aquatic. It's, it's so strange the way it's got the sunken kind of visor in there. The big claw looking feet. And the big... Stargate on its back that is two big swords. So it's borrowing designs from a whole lot of different Gundams over the years. You know, you got some sand rock, maybe even some gray zine and a couple other designs in there. But it looks like it's just going to be a grunt suit, more or less. You know, we've gotten the new versions of the grays, more or less. But this thing, I like this deep blues, the orange, the white. The weapons on it are just unique and weird. I don't know what is going on with this kit. I really like it. I feel like I'm going to like this probably more than all of the other IBO kits so far. I like how the swords come together and make that big ring on his back. I can't wait to see how those gimmicks really play out actually in the anime. Oh, what else do we have in October? Oh. So, we're kind of moving away from the IBO here for just a second. Another big thing to come out in October is going to be for the MJ Thunderbolt Full Armor Gundam. It's the Weapons and Armor Hungry <laughs> Weapons and Armor Hunger, quote unquote, Hanger. I don't know if that image is actually incorrect or somebody typoed that or they meant that. But uh, basically it's going to be a Hanger version so you can store all the weapons, the shields, excess armor off of your full armor. So you can see in the images, you know, you have the regular Gundam without everything standing in the middle. But judging by the price, with it being only 2800 thereabouts yen, I don't think this is with the Gundam. Because that entire set was about uh, 8,000 yen. So this must only be just the hangar part and the excess weapons and stuff like that because it does look like it comes with new bazookas possibly a new rifle because um, you can see in the in the shots here I really dig this new rifle hand cannon whatever and I love that you can it shows a lot of the shots without the armor of him using like the twin bazookas and everything like that I don't own the MG I only have the HG version but this alone kinda makes me want to get it even though I know from other watching other reviews, uh, the MG is kind of a pain in the butt with a lot of its gimmicks. 
So, you can really look forward to that, but it's a P-Bandai. Um, so it's going to be expensive for what it is, but it's going to be cool. And I like that, but who knows? May get it, may not get it. I've got my money kind of tied up in all of those uh, HG IBO kits coming out. Now we'll move on to well, one of the only real uh, November releases, at least that they're showing us here. Um, it's the 1 to 100 Barbatos Lupus. Now this is what they're calling the full mechanic version. Full mechanical, full mechanics version. And I'm guessing it's because you can see the way the frame moves. It does, from the images we've gotten of the frame so far, you can see that there's a little bit more going on there than there used to be. So maybe they've introduced a bit more movement inside the frame. And of course it's a 1 to 100, it's the new Barbatos, and you can see this thing comes with all of the goodies. It comes with all the weapons. You get the sword, I think you get the new mace, you definitely get the new forearm guns. And in these images, you actually see they slide back on the arm, they'll flip around, and then they'll be pointed forward. I really dig that, and the fact, that is like master grade level engineering, but this is a no grade. Or what, you know, their, their new version of a high grade 1 to 100. So, you know, while they're, they've never really wanted to make an MG version of any of the IBO kits, this is what they're giving us. I can live with it. I mean, the detail on these things is great. I and mean, it's not even the, um, the high resolution, quote unquote, 1 to 100s. So, but it is a little pricey. It's not bad. I mean, it's, it's round about master grade prices. So it's, it's 3240 yen. So, yeah, about 33 bucks, but for something that size with this many toys coming with it, that's pretty impressive. And it's not going to be the only thing that comes out in November, obviously, but uh, I would definitely look forward to that. I don't have any of those because I only stick with the high grades, but this one looks pretty awesome. But here's something that's really strange. Coming right behind that in December, they've announced an all-new Gundam for IBO. And it's the Gundam Vidar, Vader, not Vader, v Vader. It's hard, you know, it's kind of a, one of those things. We don't know how it's going to be said just yet. But that is, of course, another one of the 72 demons. Now, this one has some interesting new features. You haven't seen a whole lot of it yet, just these uh, prototype kind of shots. But here's the weird part. They have not announced the HG of this guy, at least not here they haven't. It's not coming in October, and if that one's coming out, as a 1 to 100 full mechanic version in November, but it did not come out yet or has not announced yet in HG. Does that mean we're not even going to get the HG version of that? Normally with the IBO releases, and I guess it's true for a lot of the Gundam releases, the kits come out as the suits get shown in the actual anime. So if this is a new Gundam for the anime and they're announcing the larger version of it a month after all of the HGs, to me, that's a little weird. I mean, I, I gotta wonder if that's if we're not gonna get it or not, or they're just gonna wait to show it to us. Because this is not even full color. This is just the uh, prototype blank images of it, and it looks pretty cool. I like some of the details on it. You know, in some ways, it's a lot like the Astaroth origin, and that what might be what it is. It might be from the Gecko stories, but we haven't even gotten one to one hundred Astaroth yet. So speculation right here. And that one is going to be the same cost as the Barbatos Lupus. So you'll have two new big Gundam IBO kits for yourself there in uh, November and the beginning of December. But I think that is going to be it for today's news, guys. I'm going to try to do these well, every few days or so, maybe once a week. I do enjoy doing it, and it's fun learning about the new stuff that's coming up and also that excitement of seeing the new release pictures because you know you get the promo shots right up front and you're like what is that what is it oh my god i can't even see it it's so blurry and now they're giving us full high-res photos and uh probably even some uh packaging and that's cool and we did actually get some package shots of the barbatos lupus because that's going to be the first thing that comes out um and i do like the new packaging a couple friends of mine on their podcast they were talking about it and uh, the, the, they've redesigned the IBO packaging. And at this point, you've seen lots of the IBO packaging watching my videos. So you can see it here or earlier in the thing. Uh, yeah, 
it's pretty neat. I dig it. And I look forward to finding out who actually did the artwork. Because that's fun. I like That's one thing I liked about doing the reviews so far. I did not realize that they called out the person who does designed the box art. And I like that as an artist myself. So, you guys have a great rest of your day. Whatever day it is for you that you're seeing this. Hope I was somewhat informative and you learned some new things about upcoming Gundams. And uh, go out there and buy stuff, guys. Because that's how we keep the hobby moving. You go out there, you buy it. Whether you get the P Bandai's, whether you get the normal retail releases. So, that's it, guys. Remember to always keep on building. <laughs>